Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Blake Damon here and today I am playing support at New Junk City Arena. I've picked Life Weaver for this team comp because our DPS are a Reaper and a Tracer. Life Weaver does a good job supporting teammates from far away. Also, our tank, who is a Junker Queen, has an ult that usually sends her to the back of the enemy team where she can get easily eliminated. So I like to use my life grip when she does that. Yeah, Life Weaver is actually pretty useful for a team comp like this. So it looks like we just won that team fight. Just looking at the kill feed, it looks like we managed to wear down their Reinhardt. I think his shield broke first, and then after that, we were able to eat through his life. And then his team just fell apart without him. So I guess my takeaway from this is, if you're playing Reinhardt, be careful with your shield usage. Don't rely too heavily on it. I would suggest using natural cover, and maybe using shield when you're needing to go from cover to cover. So yeah, Reinhardt's, careful with your shield. Watch here! So we won this team fight, I think because initially the soldier overextended, trying to get me. After that, the enemy Reinhardt successfully charged our queen, but instead of being eliminated by his follow-up, I managed to life grip her to safety. After that, our Ilari ulted, and then everyone in the enemy team was either eliminated or backed away, except for the Reinhardt, who then found himself overextended and alone. And in that position, he's quite easy to eliminate. So I guess the takeaway would be to not overextend. The numbers. Let's take him to the wasteland. <laughs> Kind of a strange spot to have a team fight, but we did have one there, which we won. I think what won us that last team fight was the Queen's ult. It sends her to the very inconvenient spot of the enemy backline, but it does anti everyone along the way. And I think it's the inability of their team's support to heal through the damage that the Queen and the rest of the damage that my team was putting out that won us that fight. So that was an excellent ult. And that was my first death. I think we lost that team fight because the enemy Ilari and Soldier had combined their ults. And with those two ults, they kind of eliminated my team. I did find it a pity that our Reaper and Ilari had both also ulted. Especially Ilari, who was most definitely still sunstruck, and so therefore easier to eliminate. It's never a good idea to be flying around up in the sky in that situation. So the takeaway for me from this would be try not to use your ult when there's a very high risk of being eliminated during your ult. Otherwise, you might end up wasting it. So yeah, careful with your ults. The trees burst beneath the soil. Pick up your 
lone rose gets plucked. Lifeweaver's platform is actually really useful. It's quite a versatile tool that can help get you out of situations. For example, May's ult earlier. I was in the middle of that and there was no way I was going to be able to get out. So since there was no escape horizontally, I traveled up and it worked. I survived. And it's not just May's ult you can use the pedal platform for. You can use it for Zarya's ult, you can use it for Orisa's ult. I've used it to get away from Genji's ult, to get over Torbjorn's ult. It's such a versatile ability. Thank you. was a pretty good team fight. It started off outside and then somehow made its way inside. I don't know, it didn't feel like a team fight because the other side didn't feel like a team. My team was most definitely a team. We were all together, we were grouped up, we were traveling in the same sort of general direction. But that last team fight, it feels like we just sort of ran into different enemy heroes and then dealt with them accordingly. And then more came and then we dealt with them and then yeah, we suddenly got the point. So I guess my takeaway from this would be to group up and win team fights together. Look at me go! Let's take him to the wasteland! Not really sure how we won that last team fight. I was sort of in cover supporting from the shadows, I guess. But what I do know is that the Queen's ult at the very end finished everyone off. It's such a good ult, especially if they don't have any way to cleanse it. It's basically a death sentence. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share and subscribe if you haven't already.